Yo, 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 welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, if you would like to support your independent artists, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Michael U.S. Music lovers, y'all stay and watch the whole visit. video. We need to talk, Vizio. Maybe I need to buy a new TV. Maybe not. Bandmates acting a fool out there. Band member got his ass beat. David Navarro got punched down by Perry Farrell. It's just uh it's just absolutely crazy. Y'all look at this mess right here. This is according to guitarworld.com, Jane's addiction and Show early after Perry Farrell punches Dave Navarro mid solo, forcing guitar tech to intervene. Article written by Michael Ashley Brown. Fan footage shows Farrell verbally, then physically attacking his bandmates, casting the reunited alternative rock band's future in doubt. So, this is messing up their money. They are messing up the bag. The newly reformed Jane's Addiction were forced to end the show in Boston, Massachusetts early last night after singer Perry Farrell threw a punch at returning guitarist Dave Navarro before being restrained by the band's crew. The incident took place during Ocean Size, the 11th song on the band's set list, which would normally be followed by three more tracks, but Farrell's behavior made it clear the band would not make it through the full set that evening. Fan footage shows Farrell yelling, F these mother effers. Midway through Navarro's closing solo, following up with verbal attacks on individual band members. As the solo comes to a close, the singer can be seen mouthing F you to Navarro before landing a punch on his chest. Damn, they scrapping. Scrap, scrap. Navarro's guitar tech, Dan Cleary, moved quickly to restrain Farrell. A struggle ensued and the rest of the band crew escorted the front man off stage. As booze. The crowd was displeased. Boo! As booze began to ripple through the crowd, drummer Stephen Perkins and bassist Eric Avery joined Navarro to give their thanks to the audience. Perkins, who was celebrating his birthday that night, shared and embraced with Navarro before departing the stage. Posting on Instagram after the show, Cleary shared a photo of the venue accompanied by the caption, The Calm After the Storm. Thank you, Boston. Sorry, Boston. The circumstances surrounding Farrell's outbursts are unclear, and band members have yet to comment on the incident. Let's see. Two shows prior, they, this has been a long time drama. Two shows prior, the singer apologized to a crowd at Pier 17 NYC for vocal problems he was experiencing. The fracas has cast uncertainty over the future of the band who released their first single with their original lineup in 34 years in July and have another new song due out September 18th. The group are currently touring the U.S. with Dave Navarro for the first time since his battle with long COVID. Jane's addition had a history of onstage scuffles during their original tenure. Navarro once gave away all of his Ibanese guitars to get back at Farrell after a physical altercation at a Lollapalooza show in 1991. Damn. Still, the latest incident will come as a shock to the band. Earlier this year, Navarro told Guitar World, we broken up like 30 times, so I've learned my lesson to be excited about where we are at. It feels the best it felt in many years. I mean, maybe ever. It feels the best it felt in maybe ever. Motherfuckers can't talk. The inner turmoil added to the angst and the ferocity on stage. That doesn't exist anymore, so we moved on to this new realm of exploration and sound, which is much more healing. So they used to turn up. Now they're getting older. They're laying back. They're laying back. But there's a lot of altercation. Let's uh, pull the group up. Let's see right here.
Let's pull them up. Let's pull them up. Pull them up. Pull them up. 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 This is them back in the day days. Back in the days. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this Rooted in Music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Bandmates fighting ain't nothing new, but damn, they're still fighting in their ripe age, 55, 56, 57. They're fighting on stage just to let you know, like, either these guys have a lot of money because there's no way we're messing up my bag. I have to get out of bed. We have to rehearse the songs. Even though if you know the song by heart already, you still want to tighten up. You still want to tighten up. You still want to make, you know, make sure everything is uh, clear. Everything looking good. Everything sounding good. Making sure we sound sharp. Making sure we're in unison. But I to see a bandmate punch on each other in front of a crowd, man, that is just crazy, bro. That is absolutely nuts how... These are your brothers. These are your bros. And y'all messing up the bag. So they must have a lot of money. Maybe they just don't care about their craft anymore. And this just goes to show you about business. Don't ever let the drama override the business. As in, as in a relationship. A relationship is a business. You're in the business of making somebody happy. You're in the business of uh, pouring into somebody. And they're in the business of making you happy and pouring into you. And you're in the business of compatibility y'all in the business of communication y'all in the business of uplifting one another so just like in the uh the job setting don't let the uh, politics in the job affect your money just stay out of it stick to the script you know there's going to be people at every job there's going to be somebody who wants you to get involved with the bullshit but you just got to have enough sense to be like man i'm cool on that i want to stick to the music or i want to stick to Focusing on my studies, stick to focusing on my cybersecurity, stick to focusing on my engineering. I just want to go to work, do a good job, and go home, man. This is what I love to do. So, there's a lot of chaos. It's toxic up in there. It is toxic. And uh, he got punched down. Dude got punched down. F these mother efforts. I don't know if it's the drugs. Uh, they said the initial reason is unclear, but it's, it's very clear. They've been doing this for years. They've been arguing for years arguing for years and look like it ain't gonna change you motherfuckers almost 60 almost 60 and they're still arguing but y'all flood my comment what do y'all think about jane jane's addiction band members getting punched down while performing in front of everybody a fight broke out what do y'all think about that man that, that this is crazy Everybody thugged out. I thought it was just niggas. I mean, uh, black folks. I thought it was just us. Look like it's in every everybody's neighborhood. Like it's in everybody's genre. Y'all let me know what's going on. 250 Capital G. Rooted in Music TV. I'm gone.